Well, I've been fishing and exploring these waterways around here on the MacArthur River for over 10 years now. And it's amazing how you can still go to places that you've never been before. And that's exactly what's happening today. Today we're heading out to Centre Island and I'll tell you a little bit more about it on the way. So on board today we've got my mate Ash. And we've also got our mate Ant. Then of course there's me. I'm Mikey Cunningham and in this episode we're starting out at the islands. Then I'm going to try some land based fishing and finish strong a couple of days later fishing up a little creek for some barramundi. So why are we heading out to Centre Island today? My mate Ash has an old friend that has a shack at a place called Camp Beach. There is some significant damage to some of the floorboards of the shack. So Ash has offered to help out by taking out some supplies so the boys can do some repairs. We've got the run sorted. <laughs> can I get the back, man? Yep, Roger. In the middle. Never to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> the further we go, the weather just keeps getting better and better. So when we arrive, we are met with a tropical paradise. No need for things to move too fast around here. There's always time to kick back and tell a few yarns over a couple of coldies. So this is Centre Island, which is one of the larger islands in the Sir Edward Pelu group of islands. Now I'm no historian, but from what I've been told, this area was once planned to be built into the township of Pelu. For various reasons, that didn't happen, and now there's just a handful of shacks left. Now these fellas have plenty of work to do here, so we're going to head back to camp. Well, I'm obviously back from out at the islands massive day out on the water incredible that you can still go out there and after spending so many years here I can still go to places I've never been to before it's quite remarkable in that way but I've got a couple of rods in the back of the car here just going on a bit of a drive by myself do a bit of exploring see if we can find a place to pull up and hopefully catch a barramundi you never know for lures in the water there's always that chance Well, here we are. It is a spot I've been to before. I have caught Barra here before. So let's just get a line in and see what happens. Maybe an hour and 15 minutes before the sun sets and it gets too dark to video down here. So it was a bit of a last minute decision. So I'm a little bit late. So I've packed fairly light today or light for me anyway. Got the camera you're looking through now. I've got my chest cam, backpack with some fishing gear in it, landing net with a GoPro in it. That always gets some exciting shots if I end up catching a fish. Two rods already rigged up. And then here is my drone. So that's me ready to go. Okay, well I've had about 15 casts with two different rods there, two different lures. No hits or anything yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the drone up and have a look around, see, see what this place looks like from the air, and then we'll go and have some more casts. into it. A little bit darker now. 
come on. Why wouldn't there be some big barramundi over there right now hiding in those reeds? Come on. There's got to be something out here today. Right up in the reeds. Oh, no. Oh, what am I doing? I've lost my casting ability. Yep, yep. Oh. oh, damn it. Caught on the reeds again. Hmm. Guaranteed this cast. Come on. Oh, I lost my lure. Bugger. Come on, Mr. Vibe. You know what to do. Oh, oh. That might have been the bottom. Just one more cast and then we'll have a break for five minutes. All right, well, my five minute break was probably only two minutes. But you got to get them good shots though as well. Look at this. Got my landing net up against this star picket here. It's up to that GoPro there. Oh no, that's the bottom. Just me and the barramundi and the crocodiles. The landing net is more than paying for itself at the moment. We've got the little uh, angle up there now. All right, one more cast and then we'll give it another, another camera angle, eh? I'm gonna run out of creativity in a minute. Oh, yep, oh, I lost it again. I'll carry on a bit, but I can't explain how much I need to catch a fish. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work being out here, trying to make fishing videos. I would say at least 40% of the time I'll go out and don't get enough content for a video. Got my wife and kids in Darwin, expecting me to produce down here. Oh, come on. So every time I get a hook up or a hit like that and miss, it really does hurt. You don't just come out here with a GoPro and press record and expect to make quality content. Did I have a coffee this morning? I don't remember. Yes, we got it. We got it. We got it back. We did a bit of gardening, but we got it back. I'm gonna land it with the net, the big hold up, and then release, and that'll be the end of the video. Is it so much to ask for? Yep. Yes. Oh, dropped. Oh, I can't believe I got the hook up. Two trebles on it, like that. No hook up. No landy landy. Why have the flies come now? Felt decent too. What time we got? Six. Oh, I'm only really comfortable staying here another 10 minutes or so. It's getting a little bit darker now. Battery is almost run out. Battery, 36% left there. Yes, yes, that feels all right. Oh, it doesn't know it's been hooked yet. Is it going to jump? What's happened here? Oh, you... <laughs> I could almost cry. <laughs> it's a catfish. <laughs> On a fairly fast retrieve as well, with a vibe, a bloody catfish. <laughs> oh, you little jerk. Oh, man. Bloody catfish. You bastard. Definitely sucks making fishing videos and not catching any fish. Oh, just lost battery on the other camera. Bugger. Oh, what's this tangle? Too dark for videoing now. Yes! That feels all right. No, it doesn't feel all right. It could be a rat. Swimming towards me. We have a rat barra. We have a rat. A little baby barramundi. Come here, brass. Just chill. Chill for a second and I'll be able to hold you without you spiking me. Yep. Hook out. Hooks out. I have fished very, very hard for that fish. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Let's throw him back, eh? <laughs> see ya, buddy. I'll see you in a couple of years. Oh, that's so disappointing. I got pretty excited with the hookup because I have done a lot of casts. Tell you what, I have done a lot of casts. If you're still watching, that means I have caught some good fish in this video. So it was a fail today. Tomorrow, better day. We're going to go out. We're going to catch some fish somewhere. You can be sure of that. Well, this is what 4.30 looks like down at the boat ramp at King Ash Bay. Plenty of boats going in. We've already got the punch in over here. Today's plan is to find a small coastal creek to go and lock ourselves in for low tide. Travelled about 40 kilometres so far. Maybe 25 kilometres left to go. Hopefully the doing the miles today is going to pay off dividends. There is
least three of us on board today. We've got golf mud crabber Ash, and we've also got young boy who is also a golf mud crabber. Young boy straight into it. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that as well. Sun coming up. How about a sunrise barramundi from in there? I think that water's very shallow. Come on, young boy, where the barramundi? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, is that a flathead? Yeah, young boy! Oh, God, God, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up for photo, young boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Good free. <laughs> well done, young boy. <laughs> Perfect. Well done, young boy. Big bara coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, hit, yep, on. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. oh gone. Oh, my knot. You tie not really My knot. My knot. Not really You're good. Going. Oh, no. My knot failed. <sighs> it was, yeah, it was far out. I'm, oh. I'm not upset at all. Like I just pulled in a huge snag with that knot. <laughs> yep, on. Ready? It feels better. Oh, it's gone. If my knot's broken, no. Damn it. That was after a long pause as well. Yep. Ready? Yep. Not yep. Nice. Nice. It's only a rat, but we'll let it just to get it in. But better than none. <laughs> better than none. Okay, well, we have a barramundi. It's our first barramundi on board for the day. A uh, 35 centimetre, 40 centimetre specimen. This one's going straight back in the water. Yep, yeah. Barramundi. Uh, because I see the, there, they, 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 but I can't throw okay. up to there. <laughs> I see all way they... Young boy, you grab net maybe? Go on. Oh. Oh. Go on. Yeah. Have you ever seen someone lose so many barra in such a short amount of time? Only you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice yeah, nice Yeah, nice Okay, boy. Yes, we got him. Nice we got him. Thank you, young boy. Young boy's net okay, services. Easy for you. Thank you, sir. Well, there we go. Legal barramundi. 60 centimetres, what, no red tags? Definitely have to check for tags at the moment. Beautiful fish. We're gonna send this one home as well. See you, buddy. Yes. <laughs> yep, straight on, next cast. That's a bit better, maybe? No, same. Maybe that's that? Maybe. No, a little. <laughs> Oh, go on, that's all right. <laughs> a quick un unhook there. So what's that? I've had, what, four hookups and two landed. Maybe he lure better what? than our lure, eh? Or where he had the free. Maybe just, free good, maybe just better fishermen. <laughs> maybe. All right, well, things have slowed down out the front here, so we're gonna go up the creek, up this way, do a bit of exploring. I haven't been up this creek before, so this is all brand new to me, so 
Come and explore it with us. We're going to anchor here for a bit. The boys are going to have a few casts in some snags here while I get the drone up. officially stuck in here. So the tide stopped moving in here, but out the front, the tide will still be dropping for the next two and a half hours. So we're heading back down towards the mouth and we'll see if we can catch some more barra for you. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good barra. Ashley, this is for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already recording. Yep. Okay. This is recording, yep. Yeah. Okay. I was just about to say that the spot in there looked awesome. Go, young boy. Yes. Woo! Yes, on the gold bummer. Come on, boys. That's what we came here for. Thanks, young boy. Oh, almost, almost pushed you in. <laughs> Yes. What do you reckon, Ashley? Good job. Good job, team. Well done, Skipper. Well done, Netboy. Good barra. Very nice barra. No tags. Mm. Silver. <laughs> What's going on? Circus in the background. <laughs> Young boy, you want to keep this for your family? or? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll keep this one. Perfect size. Beautiful fish. <laughs> it's about time you took me to one of your good spots, Ash. It's been a while. Taking you here before, am I? Nah, <laughs> first time. Okay, I'll get the camera. Young boy, net boy. Ashley's driving the boat and landing Barramundi. Ooh, oh, good. One, two. Yes. Easy to do it. Nice one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Easy to do it. About Perfect. Time, about time you got a fish on board. Oh mate, you know. Give you fellas a chance first, eh? <laughs> Have you registered about the million dollar? Million dollar fish? Yeah. yeah. You register yet? No. What happens when you get one with a red tag in it? And my million, game, mi mi me. million bucks? <laughs> I can't. Oh, we got half and half, no worries. I can't get it. <laughs> Oh, and I was just facing that way before. Good one too, bro. Nice. Yeah. Oh, barrel for sure. Yes. Nice one. Another one. Good oh. job, big boy. See, he driver, he got free. Me just fishing nothing. Me just fishing nothing. Oh yeah, bring it on. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. <laughs> what do you yeah. love? No. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's perfect. You deal with that and uh, I'll get the sizzle box set up. Good boy. Oh, I'm getting excited. It smells good. It smells it's really good. Now. Let me rod down for a second. Good job. Oh no, young boy, do it. No, you do no, it. Easy. <laughs> easy to do it, young boy. Good job. Perfect. It was always going to happen. <laughs> young boy was always going to end up with the tongs. <laughs> Thanks, young boy.
By the time we've finished eating the lambies, we're back down at the mouth of the creek. With all the mudflats exposed, it looks very different to a few hours ago at sunrise. Just having a little troll out here in the channel out the front. <laughs> Young boy forgot his hat, so he's being sun smart. <laughs> Stuck now. Oh, that's as far as we can get. Mud floods everywhere, all around us. We're all alone in this creek. No one is getting in or out of here until the tide comes back in. That includes these three boats we can see in the far distance. This was unexpected. We were literally coming back into the creek to get on the plane so that we could make it out across the flats. We had to be on the plane because it's only that deep water. And Ash, the barra whisperer, <laughs> says, oh, there's gotta be a barra money in that backwater there where that, that slow moving water. He had one cast. I didn't get the hook up, but <laughs> you saw the aftermath. Fish of the day. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Good job! Good job! Hold well on, lads. Yeah. Oh, look yeah, at that! Barra. He knows how to how to finish the day off. <laughs> wow! That's a nice bar. <laughs> Young boy, yeah. cleaning up. What have we been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy, how much you drink today? <laughs> <laughs> you told Nancy you don't drink anymore. You drink, I don't drink anymore. You drink too much, too much. Look in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice fish, man. Holy. What the heck? That's awesome. Good way to finish off the day. We, we send up to your wife, eh? In Darwin? Yeah, we send to your family? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Oh, young boy's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see this white eye already? <laughs> And as always, you can check out my merch at mikeycunningham.com.au. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.